gonna show you a cool new feature in Canvas that actually allows you to run reports um, like missing assignments. So the first thing I need to do in my course is you probably need to turn this setting on because chances are you don't have it enabled already. And I can do that by going into an individual course and I'm gonna scroll down to settings. And in settings, there's an option up here at the top called feature options. So the one you want is one here called new course and user analytics. So right now it's turned off with the X. I can click on it and tell it to enable that. Now, once I've done that, I can go back to my home page, and I now have an option that shows up on the right hand side here that says new analytics. And when I click on that, this is going to give me some basic grade information. So I could look at the overall um, average course grade for all of my sections. Um, and I can kind of see how these things pan out. And I can go in here and I can simply add other sections so I can see how first hour is doing uh, compared to everybody else. And if I hovered over any of these, this will give me uh, exact uh, grades based on what that assignment is and how that student scored. Uh, and if I wanted to, I can even hit these three dots and I could have it show uh, data table information, which shows the score of all sections with the percentage of um, how this particular hour did on this assignment and so on. I can also hit the download button to be able to download that as an Excel spreadsheet. The thing here I think most people are gonna be interested with is uh, a new reporting feature that exists. So we've had reports in PowerSchool for a while, but Canvas does not have reporting. So there is a new reporting feature in Canvas now that I can tell it to generate some basic reporting here. So depending on what information that I want, um, I can run a report to get that information. The one that I think you guys are probably gonna find the most useful is the missing or late assignments uh, report. And so all I would simply do is I would click run report next to whichever one I want. So then it's gonna ask me to filter out which classes um, that I want to run a report from. So for example, I can click this filter here and I can choose, yeah, I want to run a report either by one specific assignment, so I could pull up any student who's missing in that assignment, um, or a specific name of a student or a specific section. So for example, if I wanted to see which students were missing an assignment, I could go ahead and say student name and then click and choose a student's name from that list and then tell it to run that report. And this will generate a report of missing assignments for this one specific student. So when I click on that downloaded report, this is what I get. Um, it is an Excel spreadsheet, so it'll open in Excel. You can open it in numbers. Uh, you could even drag it into your drive if you want, and open it in Google uh, Sheets. Um, but basically it is a list of, okay, these are the assignments that this specific student is missing. Now it is in a list from the entire year. So first semester things are gonna show up on there as well. But if I wanted to, I can simply click on a column and I could tell it to sort um, by date so that the newest things show up on top and I could ignore the other ones. Um, but then I could go ahead and edit the spreadsheet if I needed to and I could literally share and send this via email to any student letting them know exactly what it is that they're missing. Now, if I wanted to get a little fancier with that, I could maybe instead of student name, maybe I want to see everybody in third hour and I wanted to add an additional filter on top of that. I can hit the filter button again and now pick a specific assignment in third hour. Maybe it is this one. And I want to see which of my third hour students are missing this assignment. Again, I run the report, it creates a spreadsheet, I click on that spreadsheet, it opens up, and that specific assignment in this third hour class, these are the three students who are missing that assignment. So um, again, it's called New Analytics. You have to turn it on first in Canvas, and then once you've done that, it's going to show up on your homepage on the right-hand side, um, and it gives you the ability to do some reporting.